So in this video, I want to talk about software engineers versus cybersecurity, right? So you probably already have an education in software engineering or programming or development, or maybe you have an education in IT, information technologies, you know, you do stuff. And maybe you want to do cybersecurity. So from a, the perspective of you are the engineer, you're used to writing the code, now you want to do cybersecurity. So what's going to be the change? You know, I've been there already. I was a web developer. I was a backend developer. I did full stack development for like eight years. Decided that I tried that now. Now I want to do cybersecurity because it's kind of a variety of flavor that is quite different. So what I kind of find different is that you're going to do a lot of different things. You know, you're going to do networking, you will do penetration testing, you will do security compliance, you're going to do organizational security stuff. You will talk about different kind of you know, ways to implement security and all sorts of things. It's like a never ending story, you know, and I kind of like that. It, to me, it's kind of a lot of different things that kind of never end. I love doing penetration testing. I just love doing different kind of, you know, just talking about access control, all these kind of things, you know. So cybersecurity is just a different flavor. You will not do a lot of development. Now, if you really want to do programming, stick to being a software engineer. That is exactly what you're going to do. You're going to do software, right? If you think like, I, I, I need a new flavor now. I need something new. Cybersecurity might be for you because you can actually do quite a lot of development in, in cybersecurity. If you find the right job, you might be in the development department where you're going to develop tools and stuff for the automated uh, surveillance, you know, part. Depending on the security company you're going to be hired in, and there are many of them, of course, depending on the world you are. If you're from America, you know, there's going to be so many different kinds of security companies. Unfortunately, I don't know any of them in America because I'm not from America, but I know a quite good deal here in Denmark where I'm from, and all of them have the same kind of security operational center. It's a SOC center, basically where everything is being assembled. So all, you know, everything is being uh, under surveillance and all the traffic going back and forth from the customers is being directed through, through their VPN, if you're gonna say that, or their connection that they're gonna come monitor all different kinds of things. So if something is wrong, well, this is basically what's going to be, you know, setting up the alarms. So the, the other perspective we're gonna talk about is you are in cybersecurity and you kind of want a new flavor, right? So you, you've you been there, you've done that, you know, you try different kinds of things, always a new path to go down, and they're never really settling on anything. So that is, of course, another thing that you could really, you know, strive to do. You want a more settled path. You want to do software engineering. That is a really good idea because software engineering is also paid really well. Now, the good thing about software engineering is that when you really learned how to do backend programming and you learn how to do operating on programming, design paths and stuff like that, well, then you kind of sit right. Then you can just go ahead and do any kind of job. What is really going to be needed for you is just the next language, the next framework, the next CMS system, whatever you're going to do in software. So basically, if you want more like a more calm, road day ahead of you maybe you choose software engineering that is basically the way to go i was a software engineer for eight years i did front end i did back end full stack development i did like homemade system from the bottom from scratch i did a lot of java a lot of c sharp i did the little c programming and, and basically you know i i for me i just want to try something new you know we all of us just get tired of something at some day and i gotta do something new so really, if, if I had to say like software engineering versus security, cybersecurity, two different worlds, cannot be compared, but it's basically the thing that I talked about you will need, need to decide on. So I kind of hope that my video could give you some sort of, you know, um, clearance towards a clearer path on what to choose and what you're going to do. So just want to say thank you for watching my video and I'm going to see you again online at some point. Have a nice day. Thank you.